Okay, so the other day at the thrift store, I went to Hand Up Thrift in Lafayette, Louisiana, and I like to make my rounds there uh, periodically, and I found a real gem there on Friday, and it is this reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. This is a portable reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, I believe. I found that it comes from 1969. It's a Sony Solid State uh, T. TC-222 tape quarter 222A or something. It came with a take-up reel. Somebody had put it on the wrong side, but anyway, the, the take-up reel is there. Uh, it did not come with a power cord, so when I got it home, I had no way to test to see whether it was working or not. Um, but yesterday morning, I went and got some batteries, and uh, I put four of them in there, and the reel started playing or it started turning so I loaded up a tape I've got I've got one tape that's the right size this is from years ago this was my brother's tape you can tell because it says jazz Rick's tape Rick is my brother um, all of my other reel-to-reel -reel tapes are seven inch this one is five inch and so I loaded up the tape and tried to play it and it it rolled but nothing came out there was no sound and so something was the matter uh, I think it was just dirty because today I opened the thing up and sprayed contact cleaner on the contact points that I could find and then when I loaded the tape back in again I heard music and so I'm gonna play the tape for you now let's see oopsie okay, Oops. okay. that's on there The trick with real to real tapes is threading it correctly. This is actually not very complicated compared to my uh, Pioneer RT707, where you gotta really make sure you put it the right way. This one just kind of goes underneath everything and then over here into the take up reel, where you've gotta hold it while spinning it around to get it caught. Once it's caught, you're good to go. Now, I don't have any batteries in this thing right now. And I did not have a power cable, but I found a cable that used to be, I think it was for uh, one of my razors or something. And I, I sanded it down until I got it to a state where it looked like it would go in to the uh, hole on this thing. And um, it worked. The, the critical point was when I just made, see that groove on the top there? It, it required a groove, and so I used a hacksaw to, to cut a little groove in there. And uh, when I plugged it in in the garage just now after doing the sanding and the cutting, I got power. The thing turned, so I'm going to try it. There's no batteries in it right now. So I'm going to try to plug this in again and get it to play. I really want a power cord because this takes four D-cell batteries, and those things are expensive. Okay, I've got it plugged in. Crossing fingers, and let's see here. There she goes. Get some volume. Oh, my dear. How wonderful is that? Get a closer look at those reels of turn. Oh, great. There's my hacked cable providing power. What I have not done yet is try to record anything. I think that will be something for another time. Also, I don't think the fast forward is working. We could try it. Yeah, the fast forward, there's a platter turning down there, but something's not engaging right. Uh, the rewind does work, thank goodness, so I can get the tape off of there. Um, anyway, that, that's it, that is my new 1969 Sony portable reel-to-reel -reel tape deck. There we go.